Hey guys, what's up? Hopeless Dragon here with another deck profile. Today I'm going to be doing it on my Melodias Divas. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoy. Go ahead and get right on into the deck profile. So, for monsters, we're running triple Aria, the Melodias Diva. Um, she's pretty much one of your key cards when she's special summoned. All your Melodias monsters can't be destroyed by battle or be targeted, so pretty nice. Then we're running triple cannon, Melodia Steva. Um, she's just another pretty much fodder for uh, transmodify, so you can go into your LG, LG, what, however you want to pronounce it. But uh, yeah, she's just got decent defense. You can special summon her if you control Melodias, and uh, once per turn you can change the battle position of all your Melodias, so not bad. Then triple Nova summoner. Just add a little bit of uh, floating to the deck, kind of deck thin a little bit, uh, especially when you're Sonata with her effect or whatever else you may want. Well, anything 15 or under, which there's uh, there's some options, but normally it's just there for a floater or another target for transmodify or exceed or something. Then we have Dribble Sonata, Melody Sneva. Um, she's special summoned all your fairies getting 500 attack and defense, so pretty awesome. And uh, if you control face of Melodias, you can special summon her for your hand. Then to LG, the Melodias Diva, this is another, well, this and uh, Cannon are two of the new cards from uh, Next Challengers. She's uh, pretty cool. She can let you, uh, when she's special summoned, your monsters can't be destroyed by, well, your Melodias monsters can't be destroyed by card effect. And uh, all your fairies gain 300 attacks, so just give them all a uh, another boost. And prevent them from being destroyed by Garfax, so pretty nice. Then we run Double Summoner Monk because especially summoning your Haria is like one of the key parts of this deck, so you can make sure you get Haria and LG as quickly as possible. So you don't have to worry about your monsters being targeted, being destroyed by card effects, or being destroyed by battle. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> then we run uh, one Arch Lord Christia. Uh, Christia's Decent, pretty much any fairy deck. Uh, you do do a decent amount of special summoning here. That's why I only run one, but uh, she can still shut down a lot of other decks and can be brought out easily. So you gotta run her at one, I feel. Uh, then one Mozart uh, Melodius Maestro. Um, I only run one of these because she has level eight and a little bit slow, but she does have a decent effect and especially a light monster. Once per turn from your hand, but uh, then you can only special summon light monster for the rest of the turn, but. Like pretty much everything in the deck is light, so she works pretty well. Then we have uh, one Hecatrice, the Sayer's Search of Valhalla. One Honest, because pretty much everything's light. It's a great card. So that's it for monsters. There's like 20. Get on to spells. Spells are running triple Valhalla. Um, I'm only running one Hecatrice and three Valhalla just because uh, Summoner Monk did in case if I. Uh, if I have a dead Valhalla, I can just pitch with Monk to special on one of my level 4s and go on to an Exceed or just go for Aria to have that little bit of lock already started. Then we run 2 Transmodify. Um, this lets you special summon your LG quickly uh, in this deck and get her effect off. So if you get LG and uh, Aria both off and special summon some Sonatas, it can be uh, pretty difficult for your opponent to get around that. So I like that combo. Then uh, two Mystical Space Dolphins for a little back row hate. Uh, one first movement solo. Um, I'm back and forth on this card. I may bump it up some. Um, I know I like it at one at the moment, but uh, I might try like more Melodiuses or uh, if more come out in the future. I might uh, bump it up, but um, I picked up one at the sneak peek. It was only one pulled. It's like with uh, some like, UAs and stuff and other things. Uh, but anyways. Um, Pretty much what this card does, if you control no monsters, you can special summon level 4 level Melodias from your hand or deck, so pretty much you're just going to special summon your Aria, unless you already have her on the field, then you can just special summon uh, Sonata or something, just get a little boost. But uh, then you can always special summon Melodias monsters for the rest of the turn. So, um, it's alright, but uh, I feel Valhalla is a little bit better at the moment, but I don't know. I'll test it a bit more and see how I feel in the future. Then uh, one Soul Charge. It's because whenever your monster is special summoned pretty much in this deck, you get nice effects. So, uh, yeah. 
especially when your LG and uh, Aria, just in case if they do go to graveyard and uh, have that annoying field again. Then yeah, one Regeki, just in case you need to get rid of some that problematic stuff. That's it for spells. For traps, we're running double Call of the Haunted. Um, again, you like to special summon in this deck, so uh, getting out your LG or Aria is pretty uh, key, so please help with that. Special summon, get their effects, and then uh, even if your Call of the Haunted dies, you don't have to worry about it. If you have uh, LG on the field, because then they can't be destroyed by card effects, so pretty awesome. Well, special summon LG. Then uh, two Phoenix Chains, a little bit of protection. Double Dimensional Prison. Again, some more protection. Uh, one warning, same thing, bottomless, and compulse. And uh, one wiretap, just in case someone tries warning one of your monsters or something. And uh, we don't want that happening, so wiretap helps that. So that's it for the main deck. Um, extra deck's pretty much just whatever you want. Uh, you, you don't really use it all that often, but uh, it's there if you need it. So for monsters, we're running uh, Uncrates Box, Field Rain decks. Karen Gorgon, Targeting, Ragna for boost in. Omega for lots of the back row, uh, Black Ship, Blow Up Stuff, 101, Sucking Up, Castell, Turn In or Flipping, Draco, Direct Attack, Pilot Dynamo to negate stuff, Lower Attack, Swing, good thing. Uh, X Time, in case you need Board Wipe, uh, Dweller, that's there for certain decks, uh, Cowboy for Burning, Rhapsody for boost in, Banishing. Uh, then some threes just in case. I mean, you really never go into threes, but uh, if you had to, there's Nightmare Shark just in case you need to go for game or something. Or if uh, your opponent like ends up sliding a Stygian Dirge or something, and then uh, one out of card just for pumps and back row. So uh, that's it for my Melodius deck. Um, I'm probably going to have some updates. i um, messing around with my Cursed Bamboo Sword deck um, since I picked up a playset of those with a sneak peek. I um, also picked up a place that XYZ changed tactics, might mess around with that song. And uh, UAs, I'll probably have the deck profile of them soon. I'm just missing uh, one more midfielder. Yeah, one more midfielders. That's all I'm missing for that. Then I'll uh, have a deck profile on them. I've been messing around with them some too. So, uh, yeah, there's my updated, well, not really updated, but uh, Melody's deck profile. And I thank you all for watching. See you guys later.